my channel thank you so much for joining me in another video and welcome back to day nine of 12 days of christmas how crazy is that honestly i can't believe that christmas is on sunday i am so excited so i thought what better video to do than a little christmas tag basically there are you know all the tags that go around on youtube about the boyfriend tag and like the accent tag well yeah i come across the christmas tag and i thought that would be a nice chatty video just to sit down and tell you all how i usually spend my christmas so let's get started i've got the questions here i think some of them are actually quite different because i was kind of googling it last night trying to find exactly what the questions are so the first one is what is your favorite christmas movie so my favourite film is The Grinch. I absolutely love that Christmas film. I mean, followed closely second by Home Alone 1 and 2. The Grinch is definitely one of my faves. It's one of the ones that I always kind of want to save for it until the last because I don't want to like watch it and then be done with it. But I end up watching it like four or five times anyway throughout the, the Christmas period, which isn't even Christmas period because me and Kyle start being Christmas on it in like August, so. But yeah, it's the Grinch. Number two, are you on the naughty list or the nice list? Well, obviously I'm on the nice list because I'm not naughty. Number four, have you ever had a white Christmas? Oh, four. I just jumped from two to four. Well, anyway, have you had ever had a white Christmas? I actually think I have had a white Christmas, not for a long time, because even though it's really cold in Scotland and the weather is usually freezing and rubbish. It hardly ever snows at Christmas nowadays and it usually snows in like January or February. However, remember that that was the year that we had a white Christmas because I asked for um, roller skates for Christmas and I remember that Santa got me them and I wanted to go out and play with them like on Christmas morning. The minute I opened them I was like, Mum, Dad, can I put them on, can I put them on? And they were like, but it's snowing, you can't, you can't go out in the snow and you're uh, boots but I ended up doing it anyway and just kind of like walked with my rollerblades on in the snow so yeah that's the reason that I remember that I have had a white Christmas I'm sure that the um, other Christmases that I've had may have had a white Christmas but that is the one in particular that I'll always remember so the next question is do you start your Christmas shopping on Black Friday or wait until the last minute um, I actually start my Christmas shopping way earlier than Black Friday like I start me and Kyle start thinking about Christmas well, all year round, we love Christmas, but proper go for it in August, like get the Christmas CD out and start listening to music and thinking about it. So yeah, I would probably say that my birthday is on August 27th, so after then, that's when I would start buying presents. Um, but I do sometimes, you know, have like a couple of weeks before Christmas, I'm still buying presents. Uh, but yeah, if you could be in any Christmas movie, what would it be? <laughs> the Grinch. I can actually do the Grinch's face. I don't know if I should do this online because it's quite embarrassing. But <laughs> I'll do it anyway. So this is my impression of the Grinch. <laughs> yeah, we'll move on from that. Name all of Santa's reindeers, okay? Dasher, Dancer. You know Dasher and Dancer and Comet and Fixin. Oh, I do know them, but I'm under pressure. Donor, Dasher and Dancer and Donor and Blitzen, Comet and Cupid and Prancer and Vixen. Is that right? Dasher, Dancer, Comet, Cupid, Vixen, Blitzen, Prancer. And obviously Rudolph, but I don't think he counts. Dasher and Dancer and Comet and Blitzen, Cupid and Donor and... Cancer and Blitzen. Yeah, that's right. I think I did that. I'm pretty sure I did that. Just a different order each week. Um, when does your family put up your Christmas tree and who decorates it? Well, me and Kyle live in our own house, so we put up our Christmas tree. I usually decorate it because I'm a little bit better at doing it. This year we put it up on November 6th. <laughs> because we love Christmas, so we put it up early. And if you want to see us putting it up, I'll leave the link to my first day of 12 Days of Christmas, because that is actually us putting up our Christmas tree on November 6th. Is your Christmas tree real or fake? Yes, it is fake. Um, we have had a real one before, like my mum and dad have had real ones, but yeah, our one right here, it's fake. Speaking at gifts or be surprised. Oh no, I need to be surprised. Like, that's the whole 
beauty about Christmas, isn't it? Like being surprised at what you get. So when I was younger, I would have said, yeah, I love to peek because you know if my mum put a parcel under the tree or my sisters, I'd be like, who's that for? But yeah, uh, no, it ruins the surprise. I want to be surprised at Christmas. Show us your ugly Christmas sweater if you have one. Oh, I don't really have an ugly Christmas sweater because Christmas isn't ugly. Do you? Kyle says that he has an ugly Christmas sweater. Go get it. In the meantime, I'll show you my Christmas t-shirt. It's not ugly, but this is what it says. It says, snow much love, and it's got pom-poms on it and a penguin. I love it. Oh yeah, that is ugly, Kyle. Check me that. This is Kyle's ugly sweater. <laughs> oh, that is rank. <laughs> Black and red and white, like how unfestive is that eh? It looks like Christmas death or something. Yep, here's Kyle's ugly sweater. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, next up. Um, if you could be under the mistletoe with anyone, who would it be? Well, I obviously have to say Kyle, but if it's not Kyle, it would be Gobi. It's fine. Moving on. Does your family have a special holiday recipe you like to help make? Nope. <laughs> I don't think so. Are you a pro present wrapper or do you fail miserably? I mean, I wouldn't say that I failed, but I wouldn't say that I was a pro either. Like, I'm a good wrapper. I'm, I'm okay at wrapping, but I'm not a pro. But I definitely don't fail. Like, I'm better than... Um, have you ever gone Christmas caroling? Nope. Never done that. It's not really a big thing here, I don't think. Like, where I stay, it's not really a big thing to go caroling. Like, we never get carol carolers at our door or anything like that. Um, do you make New Year's resolutions and do you stick to them? I do make New Year's resolutions. Mostly every year, my resolution is to be organised and I definitely don't stick to it because I am the least organised person in the world. I am so unorganised, it's ridiculous. But that is going to be my New Year's resolution this year. Um, so you know what, sometimes I stick to it for like a month and then I just fall back into my old ways. So yeah, I don't stick to them. Do you stick to yours? The next question is, do you open your presents on Christmas Eve or Christmas morning? Um, yeah, we always open them on Christmas morning. I think maybe once or twice when we were kids, we've said to mum and dad like, can you get a little present? Because we used to be told like Santa would bring some presents and mum and dad would give you some presents. So we always knew that, you know, the labels were like, love two Kirsten love Santa or two Kirsten love mum and dad. So yeah, sometimes we would open like one on Christmas Eve, but yeah, it's always Christmas morning. Do you have any Christmas Eve traditions? Um, well, I guess so. We just kind of just get drunk. <laughs> I know that sounds really bad, but for the past couple of years we've just had to get drunk on Christmas Eve because it's, Christmas is a time of party, isn't it? It's like a four day party, Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, Boxing Day, maybe the day after or the day before Christmas Eve, like yeah. So that's our tradition I guess, just to have a drink. I mean, I am going to be doing a Christmas Eve routine and that's going to be up on Christmas Eve, obviously. I'm going to pop well, not obvious, but yeah, I'm going to put it up on Christmas Eve. Um, it's not going to be realistic purely because this year and for the last two years, we have went away for Christmas. So we went away to our house and we've like stayed together. And um, yeah, so it's obviously we can't film it at that house because we're not away yet. We're going the day before Christmas Eve. So we're going to be doing a Christmas Eve routine and it's just going to be like your casual cosy Christmas Eve in. And that's what I would have used to do before we would go away and before I got a bit older and had a drink and things. Um, but yeah, obviously I can't like invite my mum and all my family down to have a drink, have a drink just so I could film us having a little party. <laughs> uh, but yeah, stay tuned for that Christmas Eve. Kyle's going to be in it and we're going to be doing like loads of festive things. Just like a cute little Christmas Eve routine. Um, but anyway, yes, to answer the tradition one, it would probably just be having a drink and having a party. <laughs> What's your favourite thing or best part about Christmas? I mean, I think I would just say being with all your family and like having just lots of people around you, whether that's, you know, whether you do like your Christmassy thing on Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, Boxing Day, the day after Boxing Day, do you know, like, I know that people have a lot of different members and you have to go to your granny's house or your cousin's house or whatever, but my favourite thing is just having a lot of people around me that love me and that you can be happy with and have 
fun with and yeah I think it's just even right now like this run up to Christmas I just love having so many happy people and positive people around me because negativity is one thing that I can't cope with like a, ne a negative person just brings me down so I like to be surrounded by positivity and I think that a lot of that comes out at Christmas time so yeah I just absolutely love that just having a laugh of course giving gifts because I love to give and make people happy if it's something that they really want to eat as well but I think the main thing for me is just being surrounded by people that I love that love me back and just are positive and really happy and I think that that is a nice note to end on for the questions I just wanted to show you a little book that we do it's kind of a new tradition that me and Kyle do now um, we got this from Kyle's mum last year and it's our Christmas present Christmas pass from you to me and it's a journal of a lifetime basically what this little book is is um all about your Christmas Eves so um we got this Christmas 2015 I'm unsure how many years it has in it but look at all the pages in it and basically it's the same questions every Christmas Eve that you fill in so it's like who you're spending your Christmas Eve with where you are what you're doing for Christmas and it's just so cute that you can then look back on it and see all of the um all of the times that you've had and all of the different Christmases you've had and who was there and yeah I just think it's such a little cute gift and I'm not sure where Kyle's mum got it although it does say on the back are there journals in the region available from gift and bookshops or www.fromyoutome.com so I'll leave that website down in the description box and you can maybe have a little look for it if you are interested in doing something like this as well I just think it was a lovely gift and something really nice just to start a tradition especially when like we have children they can look back and see what we've done for our Christmas season things as well so yeah I'm just so excited for Christmas now speaking about it all the time just gets me absolutely so 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 buzzing I just can't contain my excitement so please let me know like what's your Christmas traditions give me a little story in the comments about how, what you do for Christmas I'd love to chat with you all and I just want to say a big thank you for um, all the support that I've had over these 12 days of Christmas videos you guys seem to really be enjoying them and you're commenting loads and you're watching them and yeah that just makes me really happy that the work that I put in is enjoyed by a lot of you so thank you so much for that be sure to subscribe and yeah you'll see videos from me tomorrow and Friday and Saturday and yeah three more videos left of 12 days of Christmas tomorrow sneak peek is going to be a DIY last minute gifts so if you've got anything that you still need to give make sure and come back tomorrow to get those ideas and yeah give the video a thumbs up and um, share it with your friends if you enjoyed it and I will see you tomorrow thank you so much for watching bye